Okay. Part two. Patrick Beverly, you royal sack of shit. Yeah, Pat Beverly, Pat Mitten, Glove, whatever the fuck Nick likes to call you. Patrick Beverly is worse than Draymond Green. Worse. Because he acts like he thinks he's some upstanding guy. He has this, oh, uh, I was wrong. He throws a, are you there, Nick? Did you disappear on me? I'm talking to myself now. So he throws a ball in the stands at, uh, at Indiana, and he hits a woman on the head with the ball. Acts like he's so apologetic about it. The, the fan next to her throws the ball, tosses it back to him, and he immediately throws a bullet pass right back at him that nearly hits another female next to the, the guy. He is a piece of work. And then he follows up with a post-game press conference in the locker room after they lose and refuses to talk to an ESPN producer because she didn't she wasn't subscribed to his podcast. So in the span of the game, I don't know if you heard anything I said, yeah. but in the span of the game, and he, you know, so he doesn't she, he doesn't speak to the woman because of his podcast. He says, I'm not you're not subscribed. Well, number one, that is completely ridiculous. He, and then he pushes her microphone away. Then he does this fake apology tour on his fucking podcast. You know that he's being investigated right now by the Milwaukee, by the Indiana police, Indianapolis police. They're like looking at potentially charging him with a with a battery. He oh, threw a ball oh, at the oh, lady yeah. in the face, bro. Yeah, yeah. The first ball he threw at the lady hit her in the face. That wasn't even the person that he was trying to hit. That's what makes it so stupid. He hit the wrong person in the face, a woman who probably spent $3,000 for them tickets. They're right behind the bench. The guy throws him the ball back. The, he, he soft tosses it. And then Beverly throws a bullet pass and hits the lady next to him. Another lady. Give me, give me like, what is, like, bro, he's 36 years old. I, I don't want to hear these adult men who have no ability to control themselves. Like, you have zero. I, I, I mean, it, it's like, you did you did you grow up in a, in a doghouse? Or did you grow up with, with people to teach you to behave? Because it's becoming absolutely ridiculous watching a professional athlete get pissy and whiny and moany about what they said was they said Cancun in Cancun on three. Now he claims that that's not what was said, bro. I don't care what was said. You are a professional, bro. You're a basketball player making millions of dollars and largely to suck, realistically. Because you've been on like 30 fucking teams in the 10 years. But, and pe people get tired of you so fast they get rid of you. But the fact of the matter is, he does this shit constantly. He has an attitude issue constantly. And now he's assaulting. Imagine if a, if a fan did what he did. If that fan, if that male fan had thrown the ball at his face like that, would that be all right? No. He'd be going to jail. He'd be thrown out of the building going to jail. He'd be arrested on the spot. Patrick Beverly gets to do it and nothing happens. And then he gets to do the other bullshit in the locker room and act like an asshole to a, to a, to a producer because they haven't, they haven't uh, you know, subscribed to your podcast. He didn't ask the men that question. And I'm not saying it was a sexist thing at all because I don't believe it was sexist at all. I think he was just, he, I just think he's a dick, realistically. And Rudy. I think he probably knows most of those guys that were there. I, I, I'm not sure. Rudy. Yeah. If that ball hit me. Oh. You might be fighting. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm, I'm in pain. I'm, I'm busted up. I got a broken nose. I got a concussion. Even though it was a softball. It was a softball. The first it one. It don't matter. She wasn't looking. She oh. wasn't looking. The girl that got hit initially wasn't looking. Oh. So if it hits you when you're not looking, it hurts a whole lot more than if you're looking. Oh, my neck. I, well, she should. Oh. And she should sue him, number one. She should press charges, number two. The man should press charges as well. They should all press charges against him. I would. I don't give a shit anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired of these professional athletes acting like divas and crying about how they're being so abused by fans. Bro, you have no idea what abuse from fans is because the league has become fucking embarrassingly soft where they kick a fan out for taunting and, and heckling and you can't take it. You're marshmallows. So yeah. he jumped on his podcast and said he was wrong. He apologized, Bobby. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. 
He should be suspended for half the season next year if he's on someone's team. And in fact, the suspension should be drawn before someone is stupid enough to give him a contract. Suspend him for what? Nobody's picking him for up. What? Next year. I don't think for what? I don't think about it. I think he's done. Well, he, th- you know what? You know how you guarantee him being done? You suspend him for half the season. No one will take him because he can't actually play until he serves out a 40, 41 game suspension. Yeah, it's I suspend him for half the season. Because yeah, if you can go and assault fans, throwing balls at them, like, I'm sorry, you can't do that. What are we doing? Because when the fan threw a fucking empty cup in Detroit for the Malice in the Palace, you saw what happened. Yeah, I'm, 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 sick, of, I'm sick of these players not dealing with fans and they're crying. <clears throat> oh, the, the fans said I'm a bitch or I'm, I'm a pussy or... You're a bitch! Or, yeah, you or, are. or they talked about my family or things oh, like that. Oh, God. Get the fuck over it, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, NBA players, NFL players. Oh, I'm going to have feeling like... Man, y'all know these fans are just fucking fans. They don't even make the money you make for the most fucking part. They just out there talking shit to get under your skin. If you can't have the tough skin enough to fucking not pay attention to that, you're not, you shouldn't be playing, man. It's, it was fans. I play, I play professional ball, man. And there's fans heckling us and talking shit to me the whole time. And by the middle of the game, because I don't give them what they fucking do, what they want for me to give them, they start liking me and start and start having fun with me rather than heckling me because they be like, damn, I'm not getting on the next skin, man. I'm not getting on the they call me Taylor. Oh Taylor, fuck you. Your mama's not shit. <laughs> and I'd be like And I just embrace it most times. I'd be like, Yeah, you're right. You're right. you and and that's how I handle fans. I don't because it's at the end of the day, it's fucking words, man. Y'all act like these words from people that's in the stands is bothering y'all that fucking much. Oh, your 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 wife's a pussy. I gotta go defend my wife. You really don't. I'm it's 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 cute on the on the face of it. Oh wife, I was defending you. But then the day you look fucking stupid. You look fucking stupid. Messing with these fans that are fucking fans. They're just here to heckle you. That's their fucking job. They they supposed to say the meanest shit, coolest shit to get under your skin. And ninety nine percent of the times it's working nowadays because y'all are so fucking soft with it. It's okay, man. Enjoy it, man. Talk shit back. Call the fan another pussy. Call him a bitch. Talk. I always say, that's why your grandma ain't shit. I my line, or I say a little bit worse than that, but I don't want to say it right here online. But I, I, I go a little off the deep end with it because if you're going to give it to me, I know how to give it back without taking it so seriously. But these players are so fucking soft that they just, oh my gosh, get him out the game. Take him home. I'm like, it's not that serious, man. Enjoy it. Now, if they touch you or something like that, punch them back. I don't care. <laughs> you know, if they throw something at you, throw something back at them. That's self-defense. Like, or not, you know, but the talking, that, that's not enough to go over the board with it, man. It's just, come on, players, man. Y'all better than that, man. Cancun. One, two, three, Cancun. Yeah, you're right. I am going to Cancun. We are losing. And I'm going to go spend a million out there and I'm going to have the time of my life because I can't. And that's only fucking one fifth of my fucking contract. I'm good, or one tenth, one twentieth of my contract. Please, what are we worrying about here, guys? Shut the fuck up. Stop crying like it, little bitches. So yeah, I agree with you, and and that's how I feel about it. And that's what fans were. That's why home court used advantage used to actually that's exist. What it meant. That's it. It doesn't exist anymore. In most of these teams, like yeah. back when we when we I was a kid, like teams at home would. Usually, good the good teams at home. You were scared to go be, there. Would be thirty five and six at home. Like you did not win in their building. They're throwing you just egg, didn't. They're, they're throwing eggs at your bus when you're leaving. Yeah, <laughs> they're, you they're, did not win. Like it was <laughs> petrifying. The Miami Heat were forty six and thirty six. They were twenty two and nineteen at home and twenty four and seventeen on the road. Miami, the only know. team in the only well, but the only team in the league in the league. That finished with more than 35 home wins was Boston, which has a real home court advantage because their fans are vile. And, racist. and I love it. And I love it. I don't care. I am not a fan of the racial slurs. I don't think they should be doing that. Yeah, but I, I don't, don't really care. But yeah. who, if they do it, who gives a shit? You know what, Chad? You fucking, you, you know how you fix it? You beat when their ass and shit. You the beat them on their home court. And say, take Beat your... them on their home court. And you know what? You should go back and forth with them the whole damn game. The whole game. The whole game. Do it because you know what? It shows one you're interacting with them and they're like, man, this is, I'm being an asshole. And this guy's actually talking to me. But but on top of that, it's like, 
what why does it bother you so much why like i got we have a fucking 583 subscriber podcast right now how many times have i been have i been called bald and fat in comments by people i don't know a lot a lot i'm called first of all i'm only 255 260 pounds and i'm 510 <laughs> so i'm not exactly obese fat i'm a bigger guy but i i mean i've been 225 230 and i'm not a fucking lard ass I'm bald, and so are half of the men in America now. Like, it's a thing. Like, people shave their heads now. This isn't the 1990s where it was Aryan Nation shit. But what do we talk? Like, I've been called fat and bald by so many people on our on our posts that it's laughable. I've been It's been done by old ladies. <laughs> I had a 75-year-old woman that's called me bald and fat. I'm like, Jesus. I, and I thought this was just reserved for f- fucking pathetic men. Who, who want to call people names? Like, I don't need to call you a name. I don't care. And you know what? Keep calling into me and keep commenting and keep clicking and keep liking and keep Rudy, sharing. Rudy and you're give, doing what I love. Rudy's going to give you a, a 10 page paragraph and tell you why. You and should. I'll respond and I'll freaking, I'll go back and forth with you. I've got no problem with it. But I'm sitting here in a, and we only have 600 subscribers yet. And I got fucking people call me bald and fat left and right. But and he's so- fucking, and I'm not making $100 million to, to do this. We're not making a hundred million bucks. These players are getting paid fucking boatloads of money and they cry when everyone calls them a name. They were tougher playing at the park. Like the shit that goes on at the park would break these pussies <laughs> if they can't take it in an NBA arena. It's embarrassing. So that's my second part. Patrick Beverly should be Patrick Beverly should be suspended. I don't want to see his ass no more because I'm tired of his attitude. I'm sick of it. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.